Okay, hi folks. This is uh, me again showing you the contents of my emergency survival kit. Now this typically lives in my day pack if I'm out for a day, but if I was going out any longer and I had my bigger rucksack on, this would be in the side pocket of my cargo trousers, my combats. It'd be in there, so it was always on me um, in case I lost my rucksack. This is what I have in here. It uh, started off life as a thing on its own, and then I bought a BCB Ultimate Survival Kit and kind of cannibalised that, mixed the two together, and I've ended up with this one. So, it's the aluminium case, the roll clips, really good sturdy case, can be used to boil water if needed. It does have the rubber seal on the inside, so it's watertight, and if you were to use it for boiling, there's tabs, you can just lift it out to stop it melting. That's that. It can also be used as a plate, or you can use it as a dish to cook off of as well. And here, I have cotton wool pads, nut balls, um, same deal, with Vaseline. So again, you fluff them up, use your fire steel. It's good tinder, excellent tinder. Uh, these survival instructions came with the BCB part. I, I put together. And um, to be honest, if you don't really know these before you get, you shouldn't be reading it in a survival situation. But the waxed paper is waterproof. I mean, you could fold it up, use it as a cup, or you could use the paper for something else. Is in there just in case. I do have a Loctite bag. This is one can be used as a water carrier. Two, if you are using the kit or the actual metal tin as a cook pot you can put the stuff in here, the contents, so that you don't lose it. That was a good thought. I have, in addition to the, the wire that I carry in my, my day pack or in any kit, in here I have, I believe this is six snares worth of brass snare wire. I also have more snare wire here, this is a further five. So that's 11 snares in total I can have. I have a tea light candle. I have an orange crayon for marking where I've been in case anyone wants to follow me or to stop me walking in circles. I have a pretty decent fishing kit here as well. And I've got a few split lead weights, four of those. I've got about three small hooks, three big hooks, three swivels, some fishing line. Pretty comprehensive. I mean, you can make you can definitely catch something with that. Need it be. I have the wire saw, and handy in an emergency. I have a pencil. I have button compass. Small button compass. I have a tampon. Again, for use as emergency tinder. If you really wanted, you could use some charcoal from your fire and fashion a drinking straw of sorts from this. You could use it as a water filtration device if you really wanted. I have, again, there's another compass in here. And this is a little LED torch. I have the multi-tool supplied with the BCB survival kit. Basically for bending the the snare wire, there's a very small blade in there, a little screwdriver. It's basic, but it would do the job. There are some matches, two lengths of paracord. I have a fire steel with the Doan magnesium block. This has actually been out on its own as a fire starter. This thing's ace. But it's uh, it's been relegated to my to my emergency kit at the moment. I have two safety pins, I have a sewing kit, two needles, both fine gauge. Again, some safety pins, buttons, condom for water carry. Again, there's actually quite a few uses of those. Um, you could even. If you really need it, I suppose you could use it as some sort of waterproof device. Um, I believe I've seen somewhere on YouTube other people have other uses. 
there's some white nylon cord. I believe that's a total of 10 water treatment tablets. I have a DC3 diamond file. I also have some sugar and salt. An emergency mirror times two. A razor blade. Can't believe I got all this in here actually. A Stanley knife blade. And a selection of which is essentially duct tape, that's cloth tape and electrical tape wrapped around a card. All in there. So that is my emergency kit. Emergency survival kit as it stands. And that just to say lives in my day pack and migrates into my my trouser pocket when I'm out and about. So I think it's pretty comprehensive. I think it's a pretty pretty damn good kit, especially for the size of it. Uh, any this is obviously supplemented with any other gear I have on me. Um, so any comments or queries would be appreciated. Again, take it easy folks. Bye.